So this game is going to be all about dueling skills and finding a tutor and getting charms down. So it's going to be a lot of fun for me. I'm going to love this. Let's go to potions. And try to make some money. All right, <laughs> Snape's looking. So we're gonna we're gonna learn a new potion. Cure for boils review. Okay, discuss. Your friend has read it five times. And we're taking all of the notes. Watch. Check. All right. What reward do we want? We definitely want money at this point because we kind of, oh, we have a lot of money though. Here's one for you. What is not an alternate name for Wolfsbane? Monk's hood. Oh. That's unfortunate. I've not been doing well with the potions knowledge. Okay, so we listen to her and we definitely recall from the book. Now listen to your other friend. And what's next? Choose your reward? Well, I think I want knowledge at this point. I need it, don't I? Let's do this. Let's do it right this time. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be it's gonna be awful. I feel like this game doesn't want me to do well in potions. How do I do how do I do the hand signals right in every other one? <laughs> Usable in dueling, interesting. So we've done this. What else is left to do here? Just leave. So Ben Copper is extremely gifted at charms. He would be a great tutor. How do we make friends with him? Okay. Potions classroom, that's done. What else do we want to do now? Report to Chester, we can't. Yes! <laughs> Let's do magical creatures! Where? Where do we find the magical creatures? Castle grounds. Training grounds. Oh, there's people flying! This is very, very cool. I mean, flying class? I wanted to do magical creatures, but we might as well. So this is a flying class proper. Broom summoning? I thought we'd done this already. I will continue to work on it. I'll demonstrate how to summon. So consider it. Lots of consideration. I'll wait. Alright. Does she have her own broom already? It is so interesting to see the social dynamics and see the interplay between students, especially in classes like flying class, where you have muggle-born students and students from the wizarding world who might have practiced before or might have seen other people preparing and practicing so they're a bit more familiar with it 
Marilla, for example, who seems to feel very confident and knows what's happening and she probably has a few techniques uh, already that she knows really well. And that really does come across. Now this is a part where the sort of technical parts of the class should start to shine through. So there's lots of talking and listening and gathering information and processing that information. But luckily there's also some practice. So I'm guessing soon enough we're gonna get to actually get on the broom and start flying around. Up! That's fantastic. Up! I think the key to this one is confidence. I think the broom kind of knows when you're confident and ready for it, and when you're not. It's really funny to see all of the students gathered around because you always see Marula with Ada sort of chatting and probably measuring each other's strengths and weaknesses, I'm guessing. We're trying to get in each other's heads. This game is actually so much fun to play because you have to be smarter than the opponent. It's not just about the sort of physicality of it, like flying might be, but you actually need to have some mental agility. So it's fun to play. Now with Ben, unlike unlike Rowan, Rowan needed to be distracted. Ben actually gets nervous because he's so insecure. So this is going to be a different type of goal. Don't look behind you so that it makes him nervous. Perfect. Now I'm going to go with your favorite poison because it is more tangible and... Oh, well, that was still good. It's something that's relatable. He would probably be more scared of that than a dragon that he would have seen coming. What if the game is cursed? Because you're playing it right now, so it would definitely get in your head. Of course we're winning. This is great. We have to, we have to stay focused. You'll get sprayed. I think we won't be friends as a bit mean because I'd like to think that no matter what happens our friendship would be stronger than that and it's actually fun to sort of lose sometimes and you know get a sense of your strengths we can finally report to Chester our prefect wants to meet us on the training grounds I actually wonder what this is about do we want to talk about our brother? Sure, let's let's hash it out. It's all over the news. It's a bit embarrassing. Everyone keeps asking me about it. He broke all sorts of rules and he was involved with the darkness and Voldemort, which is just very disturbing. And we're starting to think we might be mad, which is actually really interesting because if you think about it, everyone thought Harry was crazy for most of the series. So I like to see those commonalities happening with our character. So apparently your prefect wants to help us defend ourselves, which makes sense. Oh, we're finally learning how <laughs> dueling spells. This is amazing. And there is a book that has all of the tricks and secrets and techniques that we need, which is actually very uncommon for a first year student to get to have access to it. So I'm really excited to go get the book and learn some spells. I really want to learn some spells. There's lots of treasures in the artifact room and it's also a great place to practice apparently. Ooh, a mysterious voice. Now this is getting interesting. Does she speak Parseltongue? 
Do we talk to snakes? Is that what this is? Let's get started. Let's search for the book. Let's, oh no, out of energy again. I'll fast forward all of these bits. It's the perfect place to gather a group of friends and practice in secret. Success! We found the book! We found it. Oh, this is very, very... This is so weird. What happened? What was that? Eyes? There's eyes spreading faster and faster. So eyes is related to the vaults being opened. They cannot be opened without eyes. That is a major clue we just learned about our mystery that involves her brother and us and this mysterious voice. I am... Um, oh, this is so interesting. Let's go to potions. <laughs> this is Snape being Snape. I really enjoy seeing Snape be a pro. Focus! We need to get this right. I was starting to think we're doomed to fail at every game <laughs> in the potions, um, at every potions class. Now we have to search for the ingredients. So we're gonna spend some time doing this. We'll choose knowledge because we need knowledge to move forward. We'll cast. I'm still thinking about that major clue and what it means for our character. So now we're starting to add the ingredients and we need to get this right. Finally! This might be the first time I get it right. Potions class has not been easy. I can't understand why. It's so funny though, I actually feel the nerves having Snape around. It's almost like I am in the classroom. I feel like Neville. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun and it's getting technical. Let's get it right. Let's do this.
let's choose the best reward which is pet food for when we eventually get a pet <laughs> nicely done it is about getting these particular details right and in place and there are so many things that are parallel to the muggle world in the harry potter world and this game reflects all of those details We keep doing well, and we're brewing our potion, and we have to stir the potion, and hopefully we'll get this right. There we go. course he's unimpressed. We still passed and finished this class, so that's not bad. We'll get to collect our points. Apparently the potion looks perfect to our friend. I get those points for saying that, that's great, so we'll stand up to things that are not truthful. Four points <laughs> that eventually help us, you know, I think the points help get into different scenarios and give us more options. The more points we have, the more options we have. Now let's get out of here. And... I love looking around the Great Hall and it's just so magical and beautifully done. So we're meeting with our friend. Let's see if she has figured anything out. Of course she wants to talk about the visions. That was really unnerving. I would say openness is very important in a friendship, so let's just say that we have heard the voices before. And we need our friend's help, because that's also something that's a bit of a theme in Harry Potter books. So hopefully we'll keep opening up. I'm not sure we want to keep it a secret. We might have more friends to join us later, so... With knowledge and friendship... I think it makes sense for the vision to be a clue rather than something to be afraid of. Especially when you think about the Harry Potter books and all of the mysteries that they had to solve and truths to be discovered and all the adventures that they went on together as friends. I think it makes a lot of sense. Now this is the fun part, what did she find in that book? We don't necessarily want to hurt anyone, we want something that's versatile and can help us do multiple things. It'd be a shame to waste all of this effort and all of our brains on something that's just to embarrass or hurt one bully. I really love that this character is all about defending people and standing up for what's right. Stupefy and Protego, these are amazing spells to defend yourself and to attack someone as well. 
we really need to convince him right now because he is on the edge. He's not sure. My favorite spell. This is so exciting. We'll finally learn Expelliarmus, which is actually amazing. For a first year student to be learning this is so advanced. When you think about Harry, he was so much older when he learned this. And he was still top of his class in terms of defense against the dark arts. And he was the one leading Dumbledore's army. So... The fact that we are so advanced already in year one, it would have never been common. And also, like Harry, we are having all of these visions and hearing voices and it seems to me as though we are the chosen one in this mystery that we'll keep solving and diving deeper and deeper into. Not bad, we're killing it! Oh, we disarmed our professor. <gasps> Hadja looks so excited. I'm not sure we can promise that. The whole point of this is to use it. Oh, he will be forced to expel us. Oh, that was brutal. This is kind of a badass character when you think about it. The disarming charm is so complicated and advanced and definitely one of my favorite spells. It is the spell that saved Harry's life so many times. He used it against Voldemort himself, so what's going on with Ben? He needs some cheering up. Rowan's worried about him. Apparently something really bad is going on. It's embarrassing. <laughs> well, that's very mean. What's going on with him? He looks worried. Oh no, he doesn't feel like he belongs. Well, you gotta stay focused. I would say. The trick is to focus on any one thing and not think about the things that you're scared or worried about. That is mental health <laughs> awareness 101. <laughs> this is great because this game is not unlike real life, which is also the trick and the secret behind Harry Potter, if you ask me. I would say everyone feels scared sometimes. It's all about how you tackle reality in life. We can't lie and say he's the bravest because he's not. <laughs> but we'll be there for each other. And we'll keep each other safe. And that's what friends are for. You're braver than you know. Sometimes all it takes is being in an extreme situation or seeing the people we love in danger to actually see that bravery come to light. That is absolutely true in life and in the game. You belong at Hogwarts. 